Hello, my name's Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explained. Today, we're going to do a speed test G on two really interesting mid-range devices. On the one side, we have the Galaxy A7 from Samsung. That's a 2018 edition. On the other side, we have the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite. Now, these two devices are very similar in many ways. They have similar screen resolutions. They both have four gigabytes of RAM. One's running Android 8, the other's running Android 8.1. But the real difference is when it comes to the processor. The processor in the A7 is the Exynos 7. 885 and the processor in the Mi 8 Lite is a Snapdragon 660. Now both of these processors use the Cortex A73 cores, four of those, and they both have four Cortex A53 cores, clocked at 1.6 gigahertz in the Exynos and 1.8 gigahertz in the uh, Snapdragon 660. But the real difference is when it comes down to the GPU. In the Exynos, you've got the Mali G71 MP2, and inside of the Snapdragon, you've got the Adreno 512. So should the CPU scores be roughly the same? Probably, but what about the GPU? What will be the difference between these two? Well, if you wanna find out, please let the testing begin. Okay, so we've got the Galaxy A7 2018 on the left with the Exynos 7885. We've got the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite with the Snapdragon 660 on the right-hand side. And already both devices are off to a good start. And it looks like a slight lead now by the Mi 8 Lite. It's going through that test very easily into the 2048. Both of them are now into 2048. This is going to be neck and neck, really. There's not much between the two of them. Let's going to see what's happened on the next test, which comes up now, which is the blur test. And again, there's still a slight lead there by the Mi 8 Lite with the Snapdragon 660, but really not much difference between them at this time. Really, we're going to see what happens when we get through to the... Oh, hold on a second. Look at the speed of that test for the SQL Lite test by the Exynos 7885. It's gone straight into the lead. It's right into the cube test. While the Snapdragon is still struggling where the SQL Lite test, it's now into the cube test but really that was an amazing performance there by the Exynos and it's gone straight ahead it's already into the 2D gaming test leaving the Mi 8 Lite way behind at the moment so that was an interesting result I've seen that before on some devices where they really just plow through that SQL Lite test really without any problems whatsoever and already now the Exynos is into the 16 thread test it'll be interesting to see here if the slightly higher clock speed on the Cortis A53 cores will make any difference to this test and looking at it it looks as if the Mi 8 Lite might be catching up ever so slightly we will have to see over the next few seconds if it really is making a difference it does look as if the Exynos is struggling now on this 16 thread test and it looks like the Snick 60 has gone ahead into the lead and it has it's already now into the unity test and now also the Galaxy A7 is into the unity test and this really is where we're going to see the difference. Is the GPU superior in the Snapdragon compared to the Exynos? And it looks like at the moment that the Snapdragon has a comfortable lead. Neither of the chips are actually flying through this. We can't say they're flying through it like we've seen on devices with sort of flagship processors like the Snapdragon uh, 845. But they're both doing fairly well. Not much stuttering, but just not much speed going on here. And clearly the Snapdragon 660 has a lead at the moment. Oh, it's doing quite nicely there with that turn now, flying past the statue, and still the Exynos is a bit behind. On the right-hand side now going down to the skull, flying through the valley, doing quite well, really smooth, but as I said, not that much speed, but clearly way ahead now of the Exynos 7885. So the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite definitely seems to have better GPU performance than the uh, A7 from uh, Samsung there. Now the right-hand side is coming down to that very difficult castle scene. A lot of devices, even at the flagship end, have struggled with this scene. It seems to be doing okay, not blisteringly fast, but it seems to be going okay. And that's it, it's come to an end. It's now into the compression test, which means we're only a few moments away from it actually finishing. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10 there we go and what's the overall time three minutes three minutes on the nose so while that has now finished at three minutes we're going to see what the difference is between the uh, final time of the Mi 8 Lite and the final time of the Galaxy A7 2018 edition this is also coming down down to that castle scene you can see it's struggling with it while we're waiting for that to happen just let me mention that I do have a full review of the Galaxy A7 over on the Android Authority website I'm also working on a full review of the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite also for the Android Authority website do tell me in the comments below if you want to see a video review of either of these devices here on the Gary Explains channel and this really is getting through the last frames of that castle scene it's getting there centimeter by centimeter there it is it's now into the compression test 
Normality restored, some nice speed here. Six, seven, looks like it's doing okay, but how many seconds was this? How many seconds did it take? Well, my name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And there we have three minutes and 57 seconds. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.